low and it's early. I was sleeping so good. But, gotta go take care of the old lady. I need her with me as long as the Lord allow me to have her. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> It's show is early. It's early, Dale. It's early. <laughs> I know it. All right, we hit the road. Oh my goodness. Well, she's done, and uh, they sent me to get the car, and now I'm waiting on her, and we're gonna go get something to eat because we're starving. <laughs> Uh, as soon as she gets out, we're going to go get something to eat. Because I'd be so hungry. And she is too. Because they had to kind of sedate her. And so she couldn't eat or drink after midnight. So she's starving too. So. Anyway, the good news is it's all done. And we shall proceed. What a day. I am headed to Walmart <laughs> because I got to cook dinner. I just got home from taking my mom to have her test done. And, well, it's been a few hours I've been home. I've been home about two hours. And I got a message from my mama that my daddy just got put in the hospital. <sighs> so... They're watching him, keeping him for observation. Um, don't know what's going on with him. So, I'm like, if I need to come stay with him Tuesday night, let me know. Today is Monday. So, I'm waiting to hear. If I need to go stay with him Tuesday night, Delana said she can stay Wednesday night. We don't know how long he's going to be in the hospital. We don't even really know what's going on. So... That's where I'm at. So I'm like stressed. I'm worried. I've got a headache. <laughs> I did drink me a cup of coffee a while ago because I'm thinking, okay, I didn't have my coffee this morning. So maybe I just need caffeine. <laughs> maybe I just need, you know, that coffee caffeine. <laughs> that hasn't helped. So I don't know. I know I'm going to get home. I'm going to get dinner cooked. And then I'm going to get a bath and I'm going to get in the bed. Even if I don't go to sleep early, I'm just gonna get in the bed because getting up at 4.45 this morning and being down there, going through all of that, it's just, it's a lot. And then I have this and then I have another friend of mine who, you know, I'm praying for her. She's going through some medical issues and it's just, it's hard. It's really hard. So. Hey y'all. Thought I would start this vlog off by letting y'all know. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know. But yesterday was the day I took my mom for her test. Everything turned out fine. We had to get up so early. I was exhausted <laughs> by the end of the day. And, um, that's gonna matter in just a second, the reason I'm throwing that part in. And so I'm, I finally get home. I'm kind of like just kind of chilling out for just a minute before I need to cook dinner and all that kind of stuff. Well, then I get a call from my mom and they had just admitted my dad to the hospital. Um, he had had a routine procedure done a few days prior and he was actually working and he started bleeding excessively, like excessive. And so he got to the hospital, they admitted him for observation and um, she stayed with him until, you know, late for him to go to sleep and all that kind of stuff. And then um, this morning I got up and text him, see how he was doing, how he was, you know, was, you have a good night and all that kind of stuff. Well, my son and my nephew were there visiting him and they were giving him blood at the time. Um, he was doing much, much better. 
Uh, they thought that everything was going to be okay, but they're going to do some more routine tests just to confirm. So they'll probably keep him another night. So probably this afternoon we will go see him. And the reason I say this afternoon, we just heard from the electrician and they are coming to do our electrical work. So James come home early. They're supposed to be here between now and well, within an hour. So that is what's going on so far. But I'm like, oh my gosh, is this gonna be a repeat of what I went through last year with my mom during this time? <sighs> anyway, that's what's going on. So I did put part two of the video up today. Today is actually Tuesday. I haven't even been able to get into the comments. I haven't been able to respond to anybody. I've just kind of updated on stories and I'm just like, I'll get to it, I promise. Thank you for praying. All the ones that are on Instagram that knew about it yesterday, I did a little bitty tiny update this morning over there because I hate being so vague and just saying, you know, they admitted my daddy, please pray. I hate to be vague because I hate those kinds of messages. And so I try to be as forthcoming as possible but also respecting his privacy you know so my coffee son got cold so I'm fixing to stick it in the microwave and heat it back up because I've just been all over the place I've got my little secretary empty um and I was showing James some stuff I had purchased for the booth um so we're real excited about the booth and we've we're still working on an idea of like how to set it up and everything. So a lot going on right now, but I did sleep so good last night and I woke up feeling revived and energized. But yesterday that was the last thing I wanted to hear. Number one, because of my daddy, but because I was so tired from taking my mom and having to be up so early and all of that. But you know, we got through. I'm alive. I'm a well. I survived. And today is a new day. And I'm just thanking God. I know he's in this. I know he's in it. And with all the amounts of prayer going up, he's going to be fine. So thank y'all. So let me heat my coffee up. And um, as soon as James changes his clothes and everything, he came home early. We're going to get in there and move the little secretary and get that out of the way. So they'll have plenty of room to work in there. So I'll keep y'all posted. I'm so excited. <laughs> I have an outlet. Y'all want to go see? Y'all, I know it's just an outlet, but I love it. Let me go show you. I'm so excited. There it is. And this is the one I chose. So whenever I plug it in, it won't um, hinder my piece going all the way back. There it is. It's a beautiful thing, y'all. That is a beautiful thing. I may have to take a picture of it and frame it. <laughs> Just kidding. But I love it. So excited. So now we got to put this back where it goes. And I can plug it up. Woo! Long time in the making. James got his. Why do you have two different kinds, James? Sorry. It's just gonna have to be loud. I just got to talk loud because this air has got to be blasting. Y'all, it is 100 degrees. It's so hot. <laughs> but I say that all the time. I'm sorry. Anyway, so plugged up my beautiful secretary, plugged it up, turned the light on, and it blew. I will fudge. So, tried a different bulb. Now I've got to replace the light kit on my secretary. Um, like I said, that was, I got it for free and I never really was able to use the bulb or anything, so I guess it's bad. The outlet's fine because I put a lamp on top of it and that's working fine. It's not the outlet they just installed. It's definitely the light kit. So, <laughs> trip to Lowe's. I'm gonna go see what I can find there and I'm gonna hit a couple thrift stores because 
I know it's a long shot and they probably don't have it, but I found something at the thrift store the other day that had I known we were getting our booth this soon, I would have purchased it. It's a piece of furniture. Um, and so I'm gonna go check and see if they still have it and I'm gonna see what they have there. So gonna hit a couple thrift stores and yeah. James went back to work because they didn't take the guys long at all to do what we needed. So he was able to go back to work He'll work, you know, he's only missed a couple hours. So that's good. I mean, that's what he wanted to do. I tried to get him to stay with me, but he says, nope, got to go back to work. He's a workaholic, y'all. Anyway, so I'm headed to the thrift store. I'm headed to Lowe's. And we will see. I didn't even bother putting the secretary back together because I'm just going to take it apart and fix the plug. those things right <laughs> so let me go see what I can find and if I find anything I'll share it with y'all and hopefully that piece of furniture is still there because I just know that it would be a great seller and it'll be a good piece to have in the booth you know to display put displays on so Fingers crossed it's still there. Lowe's didn't have what I needed. So I ordered it on Amazon. The problem is it won't be here till next week. So, you know, I've waited this long, right? What's one more week? <laughs> At least I have my little lamp on the top. Um, so I'm trying to decide if I am going to go ahead and decorate like put my stuff I'm gonna have to put my stuff back in the curio uh, the secretary because I just I don't want it to get broke I have nowhere for it and I don't want it to get mixed in with the things that I want to sell for a booth I know Bob is hot so now we're going to the thrift store and who knows y'all right until things have happened. I may find something at the thrift store that I can use. So, let me go check out what they have. Fingers crossed that piece of furniture is still there. Ugh, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. Well, as suspected, that piece of furniture was gone. I kind of knew it would be. It's just, it was too good of a deal. It was too beautiful a piece. And there was literally nothing wrong with it. Like, it was so beautiful. And had I known, but that's okay. I just, you know, it was not meant for me. And now, I've, I've, you know, I just accept that. And I was telling my mom yesterday, I was like, look, I have no doubt that this is the will of the Lord for us to go in this direction to, to do the booth and stuff. And when you're in God's will, He will make things happen. And I said, I'm just going to believe that He's going to put things in my path that I need. When I need them, they're going to be the right price at the right place. I'm going to be able to afford it, you know. So, that obviously, I said all that to say this, that obviously wasn't meant for me. And that's okay. Um, I did pick up some things that I think are going to be really nice to have in the booth. And um, I'm having to really, 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 like, I'm having to be careful because I just love all the things. So, I'm having to, like, this is what I'm having to tell myself. If I'm not drawn to it and it's not something that I would love or something that I've wanted stay away from it. You know what I mean? And that does not mean that I'm not going to pick up other items that's not necessarily my style because I like all styles quite honestly. Just not all styles work in my home. You know what I mean? So, um, they do want us to stay, which uh, I'm totally fine with this. They do want us to stay more with the antique vintage retro vibe. Um, they don't want us really bringing in stuff that you can find at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something like that. And I totally get that. I understand that. Um, so I am paying more attention to that. 
I'm also, um, you know, if there's some things that maybe I can buy. I'm just doing it like I would do for my home. Does that make sense? I'm just buying things like I would decorate in my home. Or maybe I can do a paint technique on. Or, you know what I mean? So, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Plus, I mean, I really don't know what it's going to be. I don't know what our niche is going to be yet, like what's going to be great sellers for us. So I'm just kind of like trying to get a variety of different things. And then I'll know more what sells for us and, you know, all that. So that's another thing. Yeah, I may have some stuff that I'm buying now that totally may flop, you know, that I have to reduce and put on sale to get them gone. But that's the only way I'm going to learn and know, you know, my area. So, it's definitely a learning curve. And I would be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. I would be lying if I said I wasn't a tiny bit scared. But I think that's just normal human emotion with any new adventure. Um, but I have faith in God that, you know... If I keep him first and foremost, you know, go by his lead, let him direct me, guide me, you know, he's going to take care of me in it. So, and I know some people may not understand that or think I'm crazy, but that's just my conviction, my belief. I want to be completely in his will. And if I'm in his will, then I am protected. Um, if I, It's when I start, you know, moving away from his will and getting full of self and full of arrogance and full of it's all about me, 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 me kind of thing, then that's where I'm going to be messing up. So I'm, I just got to keep flesh and self under subjection follow his guide, let him take care of me, and I'll be fine. Okay? Just with anything in life, you know? So, I'm excited and I'm excited to bring y'all along on this journey, this new chapter in our lives. James is excited. He come home yesterday was telling me um, that he's been looking up estate sales and it's it's so amazing to see him so excited and invested in this as well. So, uh, I love it. I just love it. <laughs> okay. I have got so many goodies to share with y'all. Now remember, it's not all for me. <laughs> okay, y'all. I don't know where to start, so I'm just going to start. Pick this up. I'm going to paint it black. This is going to be for display only. And plus, I have several other ones that I can use. So, this is a heavy duty one. So, it will hold like really heavy platters or maybe even artwork or whatever. So, pick that up. $2.99. Pick this up. This is for me. Do y'all remember earlier in the summer when I bought one from Lowe's, the suet feeder, and it broke? So I took it back while well, I found this for $3.99. And I don't know if y'all priced these suckers, but I have. First of all, if you can find them right now, my Lowe's doesn't really have like the two like this. Um, and the ones at Tractor Supply are like crazy, crazy expensive. This is $3.99 and I already have the suet to go in it. Perfect. I was so excited. So that is for me. Okay. I picked up this sweet, sweet, sweet little um, handkerchief set. It's, it says Bride. It is so delicately embroidered. This is a little, like, I don't know what, an envelope. And it has this beautiful little lacy um, handkerchief. And it also has this beautiful embroidered handkerchief that says Bride. And it's got some beautiful little flowers on the back. This was 99 cents. And I thought, how pretty would this be? You know, around wedding time, like May, June, July. I mean, any time of the year people get married. But 
for 99 cents, I thought this would be so pretty to display in a romantic little vignette. So I picked that up. I picked up this bag of baskets. They were $2.99 and I got it with one particular project in mind. I've been looking for a basket and I think this will be the perfect size. Do y'all remember when I thrifted this? Look at that. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Is that not perfect? And then I have five more the same size, which I'm sure I'll find something to do with, but this whole bag was $2.99. I love that just like it is, y'all. Just like it is. Oh my goodness. That'll be going in the booth. Okay. I found this adorable little chicken. Hold on, let me grab another basket. One of y'all gave me an awesome idea. Now this is a bit too big, but if I do what I have in mind, I think I want to try to make a miniature chicken lamp. How cute would that be? This was $2.99 and I'm on the hunt for the perfect little miniature lamp that I can take apart and make a miniature chicken lamp. But how adorable would that be with, you know, the uh, nest, have it setting up like this as a little lamp to sit in a hut on your cabinet. Just, I just think it would be adorable. So I picked this up for $2.99 and this is was in that pack of the baskets. Okay. I picked this up for $2.99. You know, fall coming, and I just thought that was so cute. I may like put some wax on it to kind of age it a little bit. This looks like it was a hobbyist piece. Very well done. I just thought it was so cute. You could either lay it in a basket add it to a vignette, hang it on a wall in your kitchen. You could actually have it up all year round if you wanted to, but I just thought it was so cute and vintage, $2.99. Okay. I picked up this set. Both of them were $2.99 for this set. And these are like metal. Look how cute these are. Now I, I'm gonna spray paint them black and seal them and I just thought they were so, this one alone is adorable, y'all. I just thought it was precious, but then you add this to it. I mean, it's just so country and I love it. I remember these being in people's kitchens when I was growing up. So I've got that. I'm gonna do a little tweak into it. I picked up this cute little round frame. Haven't decided if I'm gonna keep it or if I'm gonna put a print in it, you know, fix the frame up a little bit and add it to the booth. And that's probably what I'm gonna do just to kind of have some inventory. I picked it and it was like $1.99. I mean, honestly, I could leave it as is and just add a print. I picked up this beautiful Homer Lachlan platter. It's so pretty. And I can just envision this in the hutch as a backdrop. Oh my goodness, so pretty. And then I picked this other Homer Lachlan plate up for $2.99. How pretty is that? And I could set the hutch up similar to how I have my little secretary done. I can just see it. Oh my goodness, I just love it. So I got those. I picked up, y'all remember not too long ago, I picked up a set like this for myself. Well, I found two more of the brass and wood candlesticks. These were $2.99 a piece. How adorable are they? Perfect love them because I love mine. Okay, I picked up two of these. They've never been burned. They smell so good. It's sparkling pine and I love the enamel cup look and I thought these would be cute just to have sitting around. I know they're not technically vintage or antique but the look is and I just think around Christmas time this would be just something cute to grab honestly i may keep one for myself because it smells really good but i can't donnie you can't anyway pick those up i found another one of these i have one just like this on my black shelf in my kitchen how cute would this be could y'all just it's like a 
mine that I purchased, it had the lid for like a churn, but I took that off. I've had a little plant in it. I think I've got some greenery in mine now, but can y'all imagine some vintage silverware coming out of this? How cute would that be? This is $2.99 and I love how like this one is way more aged and distressed than mine, but I love that. So grab that. I grabbed this beautiful, this is a Homer Lachlan gravy boat. And I love the red because I was thinking around Christmas and it's very big and sturdy and I'm going to show it. I mean, of course you could use it as a gravy boat, but if you know me, I use it and I just put little stuff in it. Can you imagine some vintage silverware, some greenery, a little dolly hanging over it? How cute would that be if you wanted to just use it like that? And then if you needed a gravy boat, take all that, wash it up and you got a gravy boat. <laughs> so, got that. I picked up these two brass candlesticks. They were they were just like this. They were $2.99. So basically a dollar fifty each, which I didn't think was too bad. I will like um, take them apart and sell them individually or as a pair. They'll have a choice. But love these. Y'all know I have a ton of those. I did find one book and I thought it was kind of comical. Golf after 40. I loved how the linen look of it. I love the gold of it. And it was, um, the pages are even like old and brown. There's pictures in it. So old. Copyright 1946. And I just thought this would be cute. I could use it, you know, to style something on. They could buy it. So cute. Okay. Then I found, I have three more things to show y'all. No, four more, I'm sorry. I got this bag and it was $2.99 and I got it, let me show you what I got it for. Another set of those vintage measuring spoons. How adorable is that? Um, so this is why I got it, but I was looking at it and there's a couple other things in here. Um, let's see. There's a, now this is a really nice um, wine cork thing, thingamajig. Um, that's nice. And then this, y'all, look at this. Look at this old bottle opener. Y'all remember these? These are really great for paint cans. And then here's like a little contraption for all kinds of different bottle openers and it had um this jameson irish whisk whiskey bottle opener it even has like the little thing you can clamp on and then this corkscrew thing but i bought the bag for this because this will pay for the whole bag and i may just throw this set this out in case somebody wants it you know for a couple bucks um but that's one of the bags. The other bag I bought was $2.99. Several things in this bag that I really, really like. I don't need this. I'll probably keep it because this will be really great for like dipping sauce. Uh, there was an avocado keeper in here, which I may keep that because I do love some avocado. Can you really have too many of these little contraptions? I know you're thinking, Donna, you bought a bag for that. No, no. I was real excited this was in the bag because I definitely want this. This is an egg slicer. Love these. I used to have one of these years ago. It wasn't exactly like this, but loved it. So definitely want that. But this is why I bought the bag, y'all. Look, another set of those measuring spoons. How cute are these going to be around Christmas? Oh my gosh, can you believe it? So, this is why I bought the two bags. And I really debated on whether buying the second bag. But, you know, I did want this. I may honestly give this to my daughter in love. Um, and then, I mean, I need, I always need stuff like that. Anyway, okay, one more bag. 
And I know you're probably gonna roll your eyes when you see what I bought, considering if you've watched my thrift haul from like a couple weeks ago. But more spoons. This bag was $2.99. But y'all, I couldn't leave them because I can just know they're just gonna sell. Cause I know we buy this kind of stuff. But it had four, no, four? Yeah, four spoons in them. Look, look at all that patina. Aren't they beautiful? Now, can y'all see this full of some silverware or, hold on. Can y'all see them in here with some stuff in here? Anyway, I picked that up. Okay. The last item I'm going to show you is something that I have wanted for myself, but I literally have no room for it, but I can sell it. <laughs> Look at this bread box, y'all. Is it not beautiful and old and vintage? I remember these from the 80s, y'all. Probably from the 70s but it works, it's in great condition. It's not what I'm trying to show it, but it does when you actually have it sit down and you're um, doing it. All I'm gonna do is clean it up. It needs a really, really, really good clean and I paid $3.99 for this and I just think it's going to just make somebody so happy. Even if they got it and like flipped it and made it over, I'm gonna leave it as is because I love the vintage look of it but I have seen people buy these and make them over. And when I seen this one and it was only $3.99, I had to get it. I've always wanted one of these. I just don't have anywhere for it, but I love it. And I'm so excited to have found one. And that is all that I thrifted today. Um, I am gonna show you some things that my mother gave me that she did not want. So she gave it to me and she's had it like in a stash in her house. So um, she gave it to me. I'm definitely gonna put it in the booth. So let me just show you that real quick. First things first is this beautiful, beautiful lamp. I don't know how well lamps are gonna do, but this is definitely a vintage lamp. It's beautiful. Look at this gorgeous shade. I mean, even if they change the shade and put a different shade, but I love it as is. Um, so I'm gonna just put that in the booth. She gave me this brass um, candle hold, candle lobber to put in the booth. I think this will be so pretty, especially around Christmas time. Um, style it with some candles. And I may do a little bit of antique wax on it to kind of like just Give it a little bit of a more of a patina, but it's so beautiful. Love it. Y'all, she gave me this old photo album music box. Now, the music box part does not work, but it even has old vintage photos in it. It's signed, and it is beautiful. So, I'm going to try to sell that. It sets up like this. This is when people used to print out their photos. And so I'm going to, I'm going to try and sell it. We'll see. You know, that's what people go to antiques places for is to find antiques and Lord knows this is an antique. And then last but not least, she gave me this little stool. It's in great condition, heavy duty, sturdy. I'm just gonna recover the top with some of that burlap fabric that I have. And I think it's gonna make somebody a great piece. I may sand it down just a smidge and go over it with my stain just to kind of deepen it up a little bit because I really don't like this orangey look. But I mean, it's sturdy. It offers great storage, so. I'm gonna cover that up and have another piece in the booth. And then one more thing, she didn't give this to me. This is a piece I had. This is a vintage lamp that I had in my guest room before I replaced it. But this lamp is old. 
Um, it's even got, I don't know if y'all can see the crackle on it. And then I have this, um, this lampshade. I'm also going to put on there, but I'm going to sell it too, because why not? It's a beautiful, beautiful lamp. And I used it for a couple years, but then I found my oil lamp that I liked and I replaced it with that. So this is what's going to be handy about having a booth is when I find other things and I replace pieces, then I can just stick them in the booth and sell them. I'm selling them for a couple bucks and they pay for themselves, you know? That is my haul. I'm so excited about it. I cannot wait to get started. My dad told me last night um, that he has some old doors. Like he has like six old doors that we're gonna get and probably use as like one of the side walls of our our booth, maybe both sides. I don't know. We're just gonna have to see how that works out. Um, but they will be great to like have a, the walls, but also to be able to display things on. But I'm truly excited. And I have another box down here of just stuff, random stuff in my house that I had been going through and putting in a box. So, so that is my haul and um i can't wait to bring y'all along as i start this journey uh, i've got to figure out you know like what is going to be our things to kind of look for what's going to be good sellers and um definitely looking for more furniture um but i mean honestly i think we've done pretty good to have just found out a couple days ago that we might be getting a booth within the next week or two so <laughs> you know God is good. So that is it. I'm just going to kind of tidy this little area up a little bit and just kind of make some room, push it all over to the side and um, go from there. And what does my wondering eye spy? Oh, hold on. Look at there. <laughs> hold on. Oh my goodness, y'all. It lights up and you can see everything in it. Actually, there was nothing wrong with the piece. I think I just didn't have it plugged in all the way. Ah, I took it down, we took it apart, everything was fine. We plugged it into a different um, outlet in the kitchen and it worked and I was like well maybe I just didn't have it plugged in all the way so I moved the cabinet out plugged it in all the way and it worked <laughs> so there's the lamp that I thrifted recently that I had on top of my armoire it goes perfectly there and then here is I think what I want to do is I think I want to get a lower watt bulb um, it, that had a 40 watt in it, but I think I want to get like a 25 watt. But that's what it looks like, y'all. I am loving it. It's perfect. So perfect. No. No what? No. No what? No. No what? No more light bulbs. <laughs> I had a different light bulb in there and I, he had to help me change it out. That's what he's talking about. But y'all, let me show you. Praise God for the rain. And it's starting to clear up there. But look at that, that cloud. And there. But we had to move the grill here because it was raining. Praise God. We're not going to complain. We just didn't know what we was going to do for dinner because we had the steaks marinated. And, oh, I got to go get my uh, my bird feeder and get all my stuff put in it. I'll be right back. Y'all, check out my feeder. Perfect spot. I'm just, I'm just so excited. James, stuff you can find at the thrift stores. Don't roll your eyes. The thrift stores just and start making you some money instead of just costing you money. It's gonna start making you money. Because you have to be seen. James, you got to spend money to make money. Well, then you should have been making money a long time ago. Because I'm good at spending today, now. <laughs> Y'all are not going to believe 
what I'm about to say. It feels amazing outside. Oh my Lord, it feels so good. There's like hardly any humidity. A cool breeze blowing. Oh, it feels amazing. So I am headed to see, we're gonna go have lunch with James. I've gotta go take a package to the mail, to the post office to ship off that I didn't get to do Monday. And I'm gonna go check out that little thrift store in Pascagoula. I haven't been there in a few weeks. So I'm gonna see what they have. So it'll be a work trip, <laughs> a productive trip. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason, not just going to see James, but it'll be for like shopping too. And now shopping is like my job. <laughs> That just blows my mind. <laughs> oh. Ah. Yeah, your buster slurping up his water. My goodness, bull sturdy. What you got all over you? Anyway, we're fixing to hit the road and go see James. Okay, y'all. <laughs> my poor little Pascagoula thrift store that I love. They're pricing themselves out of business. They have got some crazy prices on some stuff. And I'm not talking about just if you like are buying stuff to resell, like the things I looked at for myself, I would not pay those prices. There's just, and it's not moving. That's the thing. But anyway, I didn't get anything there. I did stop at the thrift store on my way over here and I picked up several good things. That's why you have to go all the time. <gasps> Cause I was just in there yesterday and they had all new stuff. <laughs> so I'll show you what I got when I get home. Now I'm fixing to go see my honey and visit with him for a minute. And head back home. All right, y'all, I picked up a piece today at the first thrift store I stopped at that I'm struggling. I, I wanna keep it, but I can't. I have nowhere for it. So let me just show you that real quick. Look at what I found, y'all. Look at this beautiful picture with the girl and the sheep. I love it so much, y'all. So much. I paid three ninety nine for it. Is it not beautiful? I can't keep it. I have nowhere for it. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, then I picked up these cute little trivets that would make great risers. Um, let me take the sticker off so y'all can see. There. Are these not adorable? And look at their little feet. <laughs> They're so cute. These would be cute risers. Cute to hang on a wall. Whatever. They just need to be clean. They were $2.99 a piece. And they have the Made in India sticker. I just thought these are so pretty. I just love them. Just got those. I picked up this beautiful tray. Y'all, is it not perfect? It needs to be clean. It's filthy. Copper, silver, oh, it's perfection, $3.99. I mean, it is just, oh, I wanna keep it so bad. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> anyway, I picked that up. And then I picked this up. <clears throat> is this not adorable? It looks like ironstone, it's not ironstone. It's actually a hobbyist piece because you can see well, it says it's got an AM, but I paid $2.99 for it. But I just, look at it, it's got this crack. I just thought it was so cute and adorable. And this is definitely something I would pick up for myself. So that's key for me, picking up things that I love. I think that's going to be my best strategy, for the lack of a better word, is to just pick up things that I love and, um, Go from there and everything i bought today i will but that was it that's my little thrift haul not too shabby huh so i've been going through my 
closet over there. I've got a ton of stuff here. My, this room just looks like decor threw up in it. But I am so excited and now we just really need to find some furniture pieces and I, that's what I've been looking at at the thrift stores. But um, this in a hit marketplace, we did, we were looking at this one piece, but it got sold. But I didn't, re I didn't reach out to him yet. I was, we were trying to decide if, um, you know, if that's something we wanted to do or not. Um, but that's where we're at. And again, you know, we just, a five by 10 booth is not huge, but at the same time, you got to have enough stuff in there, you know, so you got to constantly have, uh, inventory. So, hey, don't hurt my feelings to go thrifting all the time. I love it. <laughs> And I'm still able to buy the things that I love, you know. They may not stay in my home, but they'll go to somebody else's home. And I had to remind myself because all of us avid thrifters, yes, we know what you can find at thrift stores. But there are so many people that used to be like me, anti-thrift. And there are so many people that will not go into the doors of a thrift store, but they will go to antique malls. And I have to remember that as well, so... It's a lot to kind of like take in and remember and balance. So I'm trying, I'm trying. And y'all have to let me know what y'all think so far of my inventory that I've shown y'all. Um, and since we got the light fixed in my secretary and I've already ordered the other light kit, we're gonna need it anyway because we're gonna have to replace the one in the little hutch because the cord was, um, the cord was cut. And after we took mine down and we seen how it is in there, we were gonna need the whole piece anyway. So um, it's actually a win-win. And the, the piece I ordered does come with the bulb. So that's great. Cause I was able to use the bulb from that one and put it in mine. So <laughs> it all worked out. Well, y'all, it's been quite a run, run, run day. I went and seen my mom, checked on her, checked on my dad. He's doing great. Thank you, Lord. That man, he loves scaring us now. <laughs> he really didn't do it on purpose, but he did. He's doing great. And um had my nails done, so that was an excuse to get up there. And um, we've got to go back. I don't know when we're gonna go back. If we're gonna go back this weekend. I wanna go back this weekend and get all the stuff up there, those doors. I did find out that they are solid wood doors, like the old doors that come out of an old farmhouse. So I am so excited about those and they will be great, great uh, pieces to add that look to our booth and to allow us to be able to hang stuff on and display. So while I was up there, they have a Goodwill there. It's not the best Goodwill, but I seem to always find something there. And I did today. I found a few things. Um, one of the items I found is going to be for use in the booth for display. And let me show you that real quick. I got this. It's like a over the door hanger. And this will be great to like hang cute little pieces. You could hang multiple pieces or a wreath or whatever, and I thought this was a really, really great find. Very inexpensive, I paid 99 cents for it, and this is going to serve as a great piece for display. I also picked up, now this is not vintage, but I think it'll be fun to have a cute, few cute little inexpensive things in there that you can, I think somebody could put a vintage photo in this. How cute would this be with a little black and white vintage photo? You know what I could do? I could take one of those black and white 
school pictures out of this photo album and put it in here you know i think it's so cute this was like 59 cents so i mean i like that there's going to be very inexpensive items in um in the booth and then i picked two other things up and one is giving me so many ideas so hold on real quick how cute is this can y'all see this full of like fall stuff or easter stuff or just everyday eggs oh so cute this was $2.99 and on the bottom of it it's got um byron molds 1981 vintage Isn't that cute look oh it's so cute and adorable and i thought this would be just a great fun piece to have to you know display some things and now this item is the one that gave me ideas and I love it. I love it for myself, y'all. Everything I got, I love for myself. So that's the key for me. Look at this. Look at this vintage coffee cup. It is a um, restaurant where I think Sterling China Company. It's a really thick like coffee cup and somebody just like glued one of these bottle brush trees in. Is this not adorable? This is such a great way to take some vintage, to take some vintage like teacups, coffee cups, whatever. And you can get these at the Dollar Tree. Is that not adorable? This will be such a cute display piece to have in there around Christmas time. But also, I mean, I bought it because I love it. <laughs> Again, I can't keep everything, but I just thought this was so cute. So, so cute and so easy to do. So easy to do. But y'all, my room in here, and I still have stuff that I haven't even gotten out that um, I'm gonna get out of my stuff. So <sighs> it's exciting, I'm excited. But I think I'm gonna end this vlog here and then I'll probably do a weekend vlog, um, especially if we go up there and get those doors and stuff and kind of work on that. Um, and, uh, so I'm just going to end the vlog here. Thank y'all for hanging out with me for this past week. It's been a roller coaster of a ride, hasn't it? <laughs> but I'm having so much fun and um, I just, I'm so excited. I don't know if y'all picked up on that or not, but I'm so excited. <laughs> so I love y'all. Thank y'all for being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all. Mm -hmm.